First, we started pure resistance circuit. Pure resistance is the resistor with no self induction, we know it. This is the generator attached to the resistor, and generator equation we have signed by T. And we know that in pure resistor, electric current and potential difference are in phase. Phase angle difference is zero. So when we draw the phaser, so two vectors will be the same direction. We draw it like this. So let's remember it. This is the phaser for the pure resistor. As you see, electric current and potential difference are in the same direction. The phases are equal. Second the, uh, device we study is the coil, pure coil, pure inductor. Pure inductor is a coil with no resistance. And in pure inductor, potential difference is leading electric current by 90, which is pi over 2. So this is the phaser for pure coil, pure inductor. But in capacitor, uh, potential difference next behind electric current. So this is the phaser for uh, pure uh, pardon, capacitance circuit. So as you see, potential difference next behind the electric current. Now we are going to combine these three devices in series. A resistor, a coil, pure coil, and a capacitor will be connected in series, as you see. And we know that in series combination, when we combine resistor, inductor, pull inductor, and the capacitor in series, we five one we five three will learn that if you connect three devices in series, electric current through those devices is going to be the same. So electric current through the resistor and coil and capacitor will be the same in series. So we will start from this. All R L C will have the same electric current, common for all. But potential differences are different. Potential difference across the resistor, I will say VR. Across the coil, we have. Across the capacitor, we see. So in series, in series, potential differences are added. Maybe you remember, I explained them to you. If two resistors are connected in series, we will find the total potential difference by adding potential difference of each resistor. So V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4. Now, we will add VR, VL, and VC. But we will add them in vectors. So in normal devices, resistors, we add them all uh, by number. But now, we will add them in vectors. Why? Because their directions are different. Remember that. So now, one by one, let's draw the potential difference for these uh, circuits. Potential difference will be defined with respect to electric current. Why? Why with respect to electric current? Because electric current is the same for all. That's why I am going to first draw electric current. According to electric current, I am going to define potential difference of each device. So this is the electric current in horizontal, which is I am sine omega t. For pure resistor, potential difference is in phase with the electric. So potential difference VR is going to be horizontal in the same direction of electric current. So this is VR. But for pure coil, <coughs> potential difference is uh, leading the electric current by pi over 2. So I am going to rotate it by 90 degree in clockwise, clockwise, in clockwise rotation. So this is the VL. Potential difference across to coil. But for capacitor, potential difference next behind. So negative pi over two. It's going to be rotated in clockwise direction. So this is going to be we see. <coughs> now tell me, will and we see are they in opposite directions? Yes. yes. So what is the angle between two vectors in opposite directions? One hundred eighty. This is Mr. Mm -hmm. Exam question. What is what is the angle phase angle difference between VL and we see? One hundred eighty. What is phase angle difference between VL and VR? 90. What is phase angle difference between VR and VC? 90. So if there are two vectors opposite interaction, how can we find their resultant? How can we find? We should subtract them, of course. We subtract opposite vectors. So I'm going to subtract VL and VC, I will find their result. Now my purpose in here, to find the total potential difference of this combination. Yani, 
VL, VR plus VL plus VC. But I am going to add them in vectors. Why? Because they are not in the same direction. I read them in vectors. So, the total potential difference across resistor, inductor, and capacitor will be calculated by vector addition of VR, VL, and VC. Okay, as I said, VL and VC are opposite in direction. I'm going to subtract them first. When I subtract them, it's going to be VL minus VC. Assume that VL is greater than VC. And after that, I'm going to add this VL and VL and VL minus VC with VR. Well, they are perpendicular to one another. If two vectors are perpendicular to each other, how can you add them? I'm going to use pi and body, remember? We did this before in chapter one, section two, when we are calculating the total uh, acceleration. When it is AC and AT, they were perpendicular to each other. We had to add them by this way. So, we will add them by using pi to order. And this vector is the total potential difference. We total. We total can be found by square of perpendicular sides. So, in for this right angle triangle, right angle triangle, hypotenuse square, which is V total square, is equal to VR squared plus VL minus VC squared. Then if we take the square root of both sides, V total is going to be root of VR squared plus VL minus VC squared. This is the equation as to how we can calculate the total potential difference across the resistor, inductor, and capacitor of an alternating current circuit. First equation we are going to use. This is the case for our LC series circuit. We are is in the same direction of electric current. We L is perpendicular to electric current and leading. We C is perpendicular to electric current but lags behind. If I divide potential difference by electric current, what do I calculate? For example, if I divide VR by I, I calculate resistance. If I divide VL by I, I calculate XL. If I divide VC by electric current, I calculate XC. Can I say that this phaser at the same time, phaser between XC, XL, and R? Same phaser can be uh, done by this way. You see that? Yani, VL over I is XL. VC over I is XC. VR over I is, pardon, VR, VR over I is R. Yes, yeah. Then, uh, what is V total over I? V total over I is total opposition of resistor, inductor, Capacitor to the electric current, total opposition. Yani, R is opposition of the resistor to electric current. XL, opposition of the coil to the electric current. XC, opposition of capacitor to electric current. But V total over I, total opposition of R, L, C to the electric current. This total opposition is called total impact total impedance are represented by Z. Yani, the total over I is Z. VR over I is R. VL over I is XL. VC over I is XC. Uh, similar, almost similar. The potential difference equation. Only instead of V, you will write R, X, XL, XC. And Z is the four total, the total. This is how we calculate the total opposition of our LC series circuit. So we I we total over I calculate the total uh, impedance, total opposition of our LC circuit, which is called total impedance. XL is inductive impedance, XC is capacitive impedance, Z is total impedance. Okay. And the phases are exactly the same. This phase and that phase are the same for XL and again. We, XL and XC are in opposite directions, so phase angle difference between them is 180. And XL and R, phase angle difference between them is 90. X, R and XC, phase angle difference between them is 90. 
And one last thing, one last equation we will find. Also, you'll learn how to get this. This is the angle. What is, how can I calculate this theta? Tangent, tangent theta. We did this before again, one, two. Chapter one, section two. So in the right angle triangle, tangent theta is opposite leg of the right angle triangle divided by adjacent We will use the same wave. So I can calculate tangent theta from both equations, both, both phases. From potential differences phaser or from XL, XC, and R phaser. Okay, let's check first this. Tangent theta for this right angle triangle, let's write it. Tangent theta is opposite lag divided by adjacent lag. Opposite lag is VL minus VC. Adjacent lag is VR. So VL minus VC divided by VR is tangent theta. <coughs> VL minus VC divided by VR is tangent theta. For this phaser, what is opposite lag? This is opposite lag, huh? Yes. So which is equal to XL minus XC. XC. Now, what is adjacent lag? R. Yeah, and XL minus XC divided by R is the tangent theta again for in terms of oppositions. And then inverse it, you will write the equations. Yeah, and it, theta is equal to tangent inverse VL minus VC divided by VR. Or tangent theta is equal to tangent inverse <coughs> xl minus x squared by r. So both can be used for calculating theta. Huh. What is theta? Theta is the phase angle difference between total potential difference and electric current, or total potential difference and vr, or total impedance and r. Angle between total impedance and r. Also. Between total impedance and I, yes, this theta, phase angle difference, and this theta can be positive and negative depending on VL and VC values or XL and XC values. If VL is greater than VC, VL minus VC is positive, right? In this case, positive. What if VL is less than VC? Negative. In this case, negative. Ha, if XL is greater than XC. XL minus XC is positive. What if XL is less than XC? It's going to be negative. Yeah, the theta can be both positive and negative depending on values of VL and VC and XL and XC. So now we can say that theta is positive if VL is greater than VC and XL is greater than XC, or negative for VL is less than VC or XL is less than XC. And electric current is the same for all devices, because in series electric currents are the same. That's why electric current equations I, I, M, sine omega t, but potential difference equation must be written as a V, V, M, sine omega t plus theta. How much theta you calculated in here, you will write it in here. If positive, you will write it positive. If negative, you will write here, negative. When the theta is negative, then... Then you are going to write here again. No. Then you can say that, yeah, it's going to rotate clockwise. Uh, positive, counterclockwise, negative, clockwise. I draw your mask, you can see that. That's for total? Yes, for total. Total potential difference. This is all three equations we need in analysis series. One of them is the potential difference equation. V total is equal to root of Vr squared plus Vl minus Vc squared. Second one is for total impedance. Z is equal to R squared plus Xl minus Xc squared. Third one is theta. Theta tangent inverse VL minus VC divided by VR or XL minus VC divided by R. Three equations. Now we are going to apply these three equations to RLC series circuit problems. First problem is a practice problem, question number one. A voltage source. When it says voltage source, you will say it's generator. A voltage source of instantaneous value of m. This is an equation for generator. Not total equation, not equation for inductor, not equation for uh, coil, electro particle capacity. It's just equation for generator equation. Now, all generator equations are V, V, M sine omega t. So, V is equal to V, M sine omega t. So, I can know what, how much is V, M. 
How much is we have? 20. 20. How much is omega? 100. 100 is So I can write that. We M is 20 volt. Maximum potential difference of this generator is 20 volts. Omega is 100 pi. 100 pi radian per second. It is, if you multiply with 3.40, it becomes 340. It's connected across a series combination of pure resistor and of resistance. Hundreds ohm and pure coil of cells in that 0.2 so hammer. Got it. Three, not three devices, two devices are connected in series now. It doesn't matter. I'm going to see my equation. So, a coil and a resistor connected in series. How much is the resistance? Hundreds. Oh, but XL is, must be calculated. Only L is given. So, L is given. How much is L? 0.200. So, we have to calculate XL. Calculate the total impedance, Z. I'll the total impedance, Z. And also phase difference between the electric current and the total potential difference, and theta. How much is theta? But for calculating them, I need to know what XL is. R is known, but XL is not known. So first, I have to calculate, because Z equation, Z equation, remember it, root of R squared plus XL minus X, X squared. Oh, very good, X. X C is it? X, no X in here. Instead of X, I'm going to write zero. Okay. So that's what I have to do. Yeah. Why did we write zero? Because no capacitor in the circuit. Is there a capacitor in the circuit? Yeah. That's why X must be zero. zero. When I write for X C zero, this equation changes to much easier form, yeah. simpler form. R squared plus X L squared is the equation for calculating total impedance and phasor and phase angle equation let's remember it yeah. phase angle theta is equal to tangent inverse xl minus xc divided by r no capacitor in the circuit so equation will change to theta is equal to tangent inverse xl over r so R is known, only I need to calculate XL. After that, I will insert them into the equation and I will find them. So let's calculate XL in here. XL is equal to omega times L, you know this. Omega is 100 pi. 100 pi is 100 times 3.14, which is 314. Directly, I will write 314. Multiplied by L is 0.2. So the result is going to be, multiply it, how much? 62.3. That is 63, almost. XL is 63, now I got XL. Mm -hmm. R is already known. Mm -hmm. I can easily calculate now total impedance. Let's calculate total impedance. Mm -hmm. Z is equal to root of, R is 100, 100 squared plus XL is 63, 63, mm -hmm. then use the brackets. Answer is for Z? 118. 118. 118 ohm is the total opposition of resistor and coil to the electric current. Z. And phase angle difference theta tangent inverse XL is 63 divided by R is 100. So, how much is theta? 32 positive, huh? Yes. Yes. 32.1. 32.1. Now we did it. They didn't ask us to write the equations. If they ask to write the equation, not hard. Only you need to call right electric current equation. I I M sine omega T. But the, the equation will be different a little. We are going to add theta. So we equation, the total equation is going to be the maximum times sine omega t plus theta. Uh, we have is how much? We have is how much? 20. 20 sine omega is how much? 100 pi. 100 pi t plus 
generally be right in terms of radian, but right now I'm going to write by uh, angle, uh, 32 degrees or 0.1. Okay. Now, same source, this time is connected to a capacitor and resistor. Again, resistor sources uh, 20 sine 100 pi omega. Okay, and Vm is, Vm is how much? 20 volt. Uh, how much is omega? 100 pi. Radian per second. Connected across a series combination of pure resistor of resistance 50. This time, resistance 50, the plus one, which was 100. R is 50, and a capacitor of capacitance 2 microfarad. C is 2 microfarad. Of course, we don't use microfarad in calculation. We have to convert it to farad 2 times 10 to the power of negative 6, negative six farad. Mm -hmm. Series combination. Calculate total impedance of the circuit. That is the question again. And also phase angle difference. You know the equations. So Z equation is equal to root of R squared plus XL minus XC squared, but this time XL is zero. Why? Because there is no coil in the circuit. If XL is zero, this equation changes to Z is equal to root of R squared plus XC squared, because negative square of negative is positive. Theta. Theta equation. Tangent inverse. XL minus XC divided by R. Okay, XL is again zero. No, no coil. So theta equation changes to tangent inverse, but don't forget the negative. Negative XC divided by R. Negative XC divided by R. Negative. It is negative in the equation. Yes. We shouldn't forget this. Now R is given. Only I am going to calculate XC. So let's calculate XC here. XC is 1 over omega C, you remember it? So omega is given, C is given, I can calculate XC. So XC is going to be 1 over omega is 100 pi, 100 pi is 314. C is 2 times 10 to the power negative 6. Close the bracket. How much is the answer? Can you calculate? It is 1592. 1592 ohm is the capacitive impedance. Then insert into the total impedance equation and find that Z is equal to root of R is 50, square root of 50. Plus square root of XC, 1592 squared. And get the square root. Results like 1593. Yes. 1593 ohm is the total impedance. That. And phase angle difference, theta. Theta is equal to tangent inverse. Negative XC, negative 1,592 divided by 50. <coughs> I think negative 88.2. Two. Two. Negative 88.2. A voltage source of instantaneous value. Again, this is the generator equation. V is equal to Vm sine omega t. Yes, Vm is 20. That's right here. We have is 20 volt. Again, omega is 100 by radian per second. Connected, connected across an LC series circuit where the resistance is 20 ohm. C is 4 microfarad. L is 2 times 10 point negative 300. All our LC are given. Only X and XC must be calculated. Calculate total impedance of the circuit and phase angle difference between electric current and product total potential difference. So we know Z equation is what? Root of R squared plus XL minus XC. But only R is known now. 
Excel and Excel must be calculated. And no, nothing is zero right now. I shouldn't forget to square. And also theta is tangent inverse xl minus xc divided by i. So let's calculate xl and xc one by one. xl, omega l, we know it. Omega is 100 pi, which is 340. L is given in the question as 2 times 2 pi negative 300. So 2 times 2 pi negative 300. Is this obvious? 0.628. Is it so small? Yes. 0.628. Almost 0.63. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so small. Okay, and capacitor XC, let's calculate XC. 1 over omega C. So 1 over omega V of 214. And C is given as 4 microfarad, but I have to convert microfarad to farad by multiplying 20 by negative 6. So 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Result is going to be? 796. 796. Oh, well, it's, when you compare them, it's almost zero. Okay, 0 0.63, exactly. So now after that, we are going to insert our XL and XC in here and you'll find it. Z is equal to root of R is given in the question as 20. Square root 20. Plus XL minus XC. So 1, for the all point, 63 minus 796 squared and square root. How much is the answer? 795.6. 796 ohms. 796 ohm is the total impedance. And theta. What is phase angle difference? Theta. Tangent inverse. XL minus XC. XL is 0.63 minus XC is 796 divided by R is 20. How much is angle? Negative 88.6. Negative 88.6. This is all. In the figure, this figure is given in the book. Uh, of this figure, find the reading of short ammeter and voltmeter. There are one ammeter, one, two, three, four voltmeter. Their readings we should calculate. Uh, and also phase difference between VR and V total. Yeah, we calculate phase angle difference. And if the VTE, what does VTE mean? This total potential difference, effective value, because also we know that every measuring instrument measures effective value. That's why, and here is written E, effective value. Effective value of this voltmeter, this voltmeter is how much? How much? 30 volt. Tells you that Potential difference between these two points is 30. Yeah, the total potential difference of C, L, and R, 30 volts. Total potential difference. Let's record it here. V total, 30 volt. So calculate a metering on voltmeter reading. A metering is easy because in series, electric currents are the same. Electric current living in the generator, same as electric current on the capacitor, same as the electric current on the coil, same as electric on the resistor. I can calculate the current very easily by using Ohm's law. Ohm's law tells us electric current is equal to V total, total potential difference divided by Z. Because total opposition I need, not only R. Total opposition is called what Z? I have to divide V total by Z, but Z is not given. But I can calculate what? XL is given. XC is given. R is given. So I can calculate Z. Let's calculate Z in here first. Z is equal to root of R squared plus XL minus XC squared. Let's first calculate Z, and after that, let's calculate the current. So, Z is equal to R is, how much R? 12. 
square root of my plus how much is XL? 14. How much is XC? 5. Five. Squared. Result is going to be 15, I think. So, result is going to be 15 of. Yeah, and total the position of all these three, total the position of all these three devices are 15 of all. Z. Now I can write instead of Z, 15. Total potential difference is given as 30. The total opposition is 50. How much is the electric current? 2 ampere. Yeah, this ammeter reads 2 ampere. But in series, electric currents are equal. The same electric current goes through capacitor. Capa on the electric current on the capacitor is also 2 ampere. The same electric current goes through the coil also 2 ampere and also 2 ampere. Now, potential differences. I can calculate this, I can calculate the LBR by using Ohm's law. But let's start with VR. VR is equal to I times I. I know I. I know R. How much is R? Well, multiply them and find it. Correct? So how much is I? 2 ampere. I is the same for all. How much is the resistance of the resistor? 12 volt. 12 ohm. Can't multiply them. 24 volt. This voltmeter reads 24 volt. Next, we add. Let's calculate we add. Can I use ohms law again? But this time, instead of R, I will write XL. I is 2. Excel is how much? 14. Yeah, it's going to be 28 volt. Yeah, this voltmeter reads 28 volt. And we see. We see is equal to I times XC. I is 2. XC is how much? 2 times 5? 10 volt. This voltmeter reads 10 volt. One voltmeter is left. Which one? We L C. Got it. Potential difference across I and L, C and L. Do you remember the phaser? We L and B C. They are in opposite direction. Eh? V L is in positive Y. V C was in negative Y. Do you remember it? Or should we go back? VL is in positive y. VC is in negative y. So how can we calculate these two vectors? It's resolved by subtracting. VL minus. Let's calculate now. VLC because because they are opposite in directions. VLC is equal to VL is in positive y direction, but VC is negative y direction. We subtract them. VL is how much? Twenty-eight. VC is how much? Yeah. Subtract them. We L C is equal to 18 volt. So this voltmeter reads 18 volt. I calculated all the voltmeters. I calculated the reading of the ammeter as well. Just one thing is left. Phase angle difference. Phase difference theta. I can use both of them, both equations. We L minus V C divided by V R or XL minus XC divided by X, uh, R, but we used X many times. Let's use this time potential differences. Theta is equal to tangent inverse VL minus VC divided by VR. You can use the other one as well, but uh, as I said, the first time we are going to use this one. Let's see that they are the same thing. So they can go the same thing. Tangent negative. How much is VL? VL is calculated 28. VC is calculated as 10. Divided by uh, VR is calculated as 24. So I think the result is going to be 20, 37 degrees. To say that, yeah, 37 degrees. Positive 37 degrees. This tells you that 
Potential difference, total potential difference leads the electric current by 37 degrees. 